All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Did you sleep well? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We have a, another week left, so do your best. All right. Today, my sermon is focused on youth group. Um, sorry for elementary school kids, but you will be really excited to watch my video. It is called "A Man of Faith: The Noah's Ark." So, video. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed, I promise. I, I promise you guys be really excited watch this one. Because uh, uh, we uh, filmed this one uh, the last semester, and then editing, it takes about a couple months, actually. So uh, you're going to be really surprised and really excited to watch you know, a lot of you know, techniques and fun chroma keys and even stories about Noah. Today, my sermon topic is, it is called Sense of Community. Sense of community is another word is belonging. 한국말로 하면 소속감 또는 어떤 공동체 의식 그래서 이렇게 될것 같아요. We actually are still in the COVID-19 as a pandemic. Uh, it's been about more than it's about uh, I guess um, three years right now. So you know we're really tired right now. But the, we have seen a lot of change in this society. So, like, uh, we used to have a social distancing, like, which means online services. We're not, we, we are not able to get together and all the time, you know, to go through the online basis. Everything's social distancing and the wearing mask you guys are wearing right now. And now we call it is called new normal. New normal. Normal, but now new normal era, the like period we are now, we're living right now. So, for example, a lot of the, your parents may be not going to committing their, their jobs, places, working locations every day. Maybe in Seoul, as you know that, it's really ho- horrible traffic you know, every day. From my home, the Paju area to Gangnam, go there, is about, it at least takes about two hours. Wow, it's like bad traffic. But no traffic, it takes about at least 30 or 40 minutes. But, you know, the, without going through the horrible traffic jam, people, they staying at home, maybe feel really comfort and uh, peace and drinking any time rest. And what? It's like working and people, they meet through the online base. So like online base, like meeting, online base, like conference call or the job, or the, you know, posting their works, everything's really uh, comfort, or, you know, easy, convenient, where? At home. That's the new normal. And another one is uh, Zoom, or maybe Google, you know, the Meet. So we are gathering together, especially education, or conference, or any, the meeting, group meetings, like go through what? Is that Zoom, or visual, uh, you know, chatting, or visual, or the meetings we haven't done, even today, we're now having right now. So it used to be really, really, let's say, interesting, maybe some futuristic, the meeting, the imagination, but now, today, we're having right now. Dream comes true, it is. When I was, uh, I would say, elementary or middle school time, it was a Back to the Future, the movie, it was the first one, and the second one came, and then, wow, it was a futuristic thing, a lot of things. One of the things is iPad, iPad, and then cell phone, too. Then that time, about 30 years ago, it could be happen? I don't think so. Maybe a lot of people are really, you know, just, you know pessimistic, which means they're really negative. But now, 20 years later or 30 years later, it has become the true, the reality right now. So Zoom, you know, as Google, you know, meets a lot of things. People, they get together. Well, these days, uh, colleges, they actually, they, um, they do offer, provide, it is called college fairs through online base. The webinar, which means like I joined a lot of schools last semester. Like this school is UPenn, and this school is Columbia, and this school is Princeton. So a lot of famous school, even the Christian school, they provide it is called online base. The webinar, which is the uh, school, you know, open hours. So we actually our school, Juniper Christian School, do provided online base, you know, open hours to the lot of parents and students too. So people now feel what easy to join any events. So our school, as you know that uh, we have provided a lot of online-based chapels. 
So a lot of teachers join, you know, the chapel and has speakers and they, they preach and they share their stories. One of the chapels, you know, the, the it is called the vlog. You know, students they made and the, as a life story or campus story. Caleb Chang, the workout with the Mr. Lee push up time before they join the lunch. Maybe we should do a push up, maybe competition, maybe next time, and then maybe the number one person maybe get some reward. Maybe I will be joining. And the last one is this one. This you know the video is. It's the uh, P class, online P class. Can you imagine Mr. Jim and Mr. Park, they demonstrate how to perform and the exercise. And you guys follow through the what? Small, mini, tiny, like, you know, monitor or cell phone or computers. So we collect you guys the, uh, the small uh, pictures or the videos and we put it on here video as a what? Just video, visual P classes, P classes. We haven't done you know, this one, because of COVID-19, is new paradigm, new normal the education right now. This is my sermon, actually. This is the, what I made, the uh, Goku, as you know. Goku, what was his, the power, the word, what is it called? Kamehameha, right? So Kamehameha, I actually uh, practice it a lot, and then his energy, it's like, Energy, like this way, you know, energy, you could feel that. What about churches? Every still Sunday services, people, they're gathering together, but still a lot of people, they're willing to, you know, worship the Lord through online base. It is called online services. So um, people, they, you know, not go to church, but, you know, they turn the TV or computer and maybe PJ, which is a pajama they're wearing, and then no shower, maybe just, you know, join with, as a maybe just, you know, responsibility or mandatory, some kind of like their attitude, but somehow we feel convenience or convenience or comfort or maybe easy. Unfortunately, there are a lot of data or researches talk about negative parts, which is the, we feel new normal, COVID-19 gave us a lot of comfort or new life but on the other hand a lot of negative results we have seen that one of the part is korean society korean people they've faced this one it is called depression and another one is anxiety they stay home alone eating alone watching movie alone and then all the time staying alone some people may feel maybe joy but majority of people they feel lonely Depression, anxiety, they feel people. They feel people, what? Relationship. And another one is academic, it is called gap. Among the middle and high school, public school kids, they were not able to actually go to public schools like about almost two years. They could join the online service, online the classes, but about more than 30 of 35 kids how could they, the teachers, can manage that kind of big group? Even Zoom or Google, you know, the chat, Google the Meets, it is hard. Our school size about at least about 10 or 15, 12 or something like that, minimum is about six, something like that. Even this number, it is not easy to manage. Why? Because of what? Concentration, self-management, your maturity level part two. So unfortunately, a lot of data, research, research mentioned that Last two years, during the, um, amidst the COVID-19, the gap, academic gap, among middle and high school, huge. You may not be aware of that, you know, we have seen actually the, some students showing this academic, you know, the difficulties during this time too, as well, in our campus too. Let me ask this question. Do you feel belong to your community at this moment? Which means that your school, your home, your church during what? It is called COVID-19. Pandemic, pandemic. Do you feel it is called home when you come to school? Do you feel home when you go to church? Do you feel when you talk to teachers, maybe like your parents? Do you feel like more friendly when you talk to your friends? Lastly, do you feel very peaceful when you pray to God. When you feel attached, which means something special, 
you feel attached, you feel home, it is called you belong to the community you, where you are staying. You feel like, let's say, home when you pray to God, then you are, will have a good relationship with you know, God. So as I mentioned that, you know, COVID-19 gave us a lot of easy work, like it is convenience, comfort, easy, luxury, satisfaction, maybe enjoyment. On the other hand, once again, in contrast, what? Inconvenience, damage, damage relationship, damage your what? Your emotion, like difficulty, maybe academic difficulty, your physical difficulty, like also spiritual difficulty, unhappiness. You don't want to be, uh, be alone, but somehow you have to be alone. Dissatisfaction and hindrance, which is what challenge. Have you, ever, have you ever imagined the picture that eating lunch, having lunch alone on campus all the time? It's horrible, seriously. You don't have any friends, any teachers, but you have to eat your lunch, have lunch alone all the time. When I was a uh, sixth grader, this brand, Prospect, it was a huge brand actually. And uh, people actually, my generation, they want to buy these shoes actually. Wow, it was financially very challenging. But um, I used to um, study in the uh, Songnam, which is the very, today is a pretty big city, but when I was a kid, very little small town, small city, and countryside. And then my parents, they uh, decided, uh, you know, my sister and I, they, they want to support us with the education, better education to relocate from Songnam to uh, Gangnam area. And then the, I remember I was a sixth grader in elementary in public school. And then the, the first school I went, and it was a culture shock. Then they, they actually, they were wearing the shoes, all the brand name shoes, actually, Prospect or Nike. Wow, it's like even the gas, the gas, you know, the, the jean, that's really, really expensive, you know, the, the jean, today even. Then, then I was uh, kind of really challenged and even to feel like lonely, why? Because I was the only one cannot afford buying this expensive brand. So I asked my mom, and like about a month, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy what? I wanna kind of like belong to this community and I wanna be attached with my friends. At least I could talk about you know, something, let's call cultures. They were like unique cultures. So my mom gave me the bot, you know, decided they bought you know, this brand name. And another one is guess who, this one. This brand name is G-E-U-S-S, not actually technically, I mean the, the correct word, the G-U-E-S-S. A lot of fake brand names. And then one of the brand names I re remember, Nice, which is Nike. The brand, the Nice, you know, the, the sneakers that, that I bought it and then so proud of myself. Why? I feel belong to my school, my friends. It is interesting. When I was a kid, I mean, especially age about 30, this is my uh, age of 31. When I was a kid, I had no time to actually uh, learn about basketball. In Korea, normally I learn about base, the baseball or playing some soccer. But when I went to the States, uh, you know, I was kind of surprised that all students, especially including junior high school and um, the, what's called, the middle school and the high school, even college kids, they're really good at basketball. So I tried to learn, but my body was not able to, you know, practice, perform the best, you know, what is called uh, um, the the basketball. So I started to work out and uh, join the community, join the uh, their the team, and then I could talk, I could chat. So and another the the culture is a dress code, which means spike hair, you know, short haircut, and then not colorful, you know, the style, you know, the dress, the clean you know, color. So I started to wear. And I started to have a short, you know, spiky hairstyle. And uh, this is the picture that I went to Japan to talk about the preach. I was quite young, isn't it? The point is this one, guys. I try to imitate my friends, imitate the community I want to belong, which is like dress code, hairstyle, any like like brand name, the sneakers. But somehow, one of my hearts, like the you know, corners, still emptiness, which means feel I don't belong here. All the time struggling, 
Do I belong here? Maybe not. Maybe. All the time struggling. John chapter 15, verse 8, 5 to 8. When Jesus walked on the street with his disciples, he passing by vineyard, and he saw the, the grapes and the vineyard, and he started to talk about kingdom of heaven, especially about love. And he just grabbed one of the grapes and talked about it is called it is called vine. He said, I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and in and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. Another verse, if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. It's another word, this one, guys. What Jesus said, I am the vine, which means you are the branches. If you belong to me, you are going to bear, so you're going to make a lot of fruit. You're going to get some result. But if you, get not, if you can, be, can be connected, not belong to me, you're not going to get any nutrition. You're not going to get any support. You're not going to get any what? Energy from me. I am the person, main resource. I am the person who is in control. That's why you should belong to me. And whatever you ask me, I will be supportive for you. Remain in me. Belong to me. What Jesus commands us, staying connected with Jesus Christ, that's with a clear answer, which means what? Sense of community, he strongly recommends us to belong. To belong. And John chapter 15 16 said, You didn't choose me, but I chose you. And I point in you. Once again, let me point out. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. So that in order to, you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Once again, you didn't choose God. God came to your life. God chose you. I believe you and I, when here, gathering here, is not by accident. God calls you and I as his disciples in the name of Christ. He appointed this time to set up his, this time for his glory. And he said, this is my command, love each other. Can we read one together, one voice? One, two, three. This is my command. Love each other. Can we look at each other and then say, I love you. One more time. I love you. And in Christ. Once again, I know it kind of feels kind of weird to say it. The female student, I mean male student to female, I love you. Kind of goosebumps in his head. But in Christ. By the way, no dating on campus, okay? All right. All right. I love you. Spiritual love relationship. But interesting is this one. Jesus, he provides a lot of demonstration, illustration about belongings and community and sense of community. What? Point out this one. Through what? Love. Love. That's why God is love, Jesus said. In order to do this one, what we do, let me give you two application parts. First one, efforts. Second one is patience, efforts. You gotta put more effort loving someone, belong to someone, belong to community, and it takes time. Like new students we have this semester, and then the upcoming semester, and this, this summer school. Like probably they feel like what? It's like they don't feel here, they don't belong here. It's like strangers. And then you know, maybe they feel like foreigners, you know, aliens maybe. But you, the people, current people, what? Support them, make them feel what? 
convenient, comfortable with what you love. And they feel, oh, I mean, what? Supportive of the relationship with my new friends is, and I feel belonging. And teachers, too. If you go to the classroom, you feel what? Once again, you feel belonging, which means love. You feel love from your teacher. You're what? Friends, too. Christian community, Christian school. It's not only Christian school, even other companies too. Secular school, secular companies, without love, without intimate relationship, people, they become, become what? Robot. They feel what? Conditional, not unconditional. Conditional like relationship. I give you this one, you give it to me, this one. Once again, you want to have a better education, better maybe academic result, you got to put the effort. I keep telling you all the high school, even middle school kids, what? Maybe you got to read the vocab every day. Read loud. Memorize. And then develop your reading skill, critical thinking skill, math. Yesterday, Hannah Kwok came to me yesterday. What she said, at least 200 problem solving, problem, the practice every day she, we have to do. Math. 200 questions. And not be surprised. I guess you guys are really good, 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 good students. One of the um, famous the sports the athletic the persons I really, really liked, Kobe Bryant. He died actually by a you know, helicopter you know, accident a few years ago. Unfortunately, he's really, I would say, I believe uh, maybe Magic Johns and, uh, and also Michael Jordan. And next person, the famous, maybe more talented uh, NBA players, I believe uh, Kobe Bryant, if you agree or not. Nine straight with 40 plus. It's like nine games, like in all games, he made above 40 scores. That's the average. People, they really amazed watching. I remember his last game, retirement game, he made 50, more than 50 scores, one game. Wow, you're not be surprised, right? But I guess it was really good. Like, I was always shocked, and then a lot of people questioning. What is his secret? Shooting secrets. Guess what? What he said? Kobe 666 workout. It's a horrible number, by the way. 666. The devil number. But let me break down what is it. Kobe Bryant workout routine, 666 workout is six hours training. Two hours of a what? Two hours of a trek out. Just what? Workout is maybe running. And then two hours of a basketball skills. Every day, two hours. And two hours of weight lifting, including what? The one hour of cardio, cardio, which means what? Maybe some emotional test. It's like spiritual test. So six hours, you know, divine into three parts. Two hours, two hours, two hours. How? It is six hours a day. Six hours a week. Six months a year, which means yearly base. He worked out. He training. He now he became what it is called superstar, as the best player in the NBA history. Let me ask this question, guys: Do you want to be a good student or a good Christian? Then how much you time you put on your time, your efforts on what reading the Bible every day? How much time you spend your energy putting on? communicating with God. And you ask this one, do you belong to God, our creator, our main resource person, the person who is in control of this world? When you face and challenge it, he's the person answer the question, support you. We know the what? This truth, this information, but you don't practice every day. But we got to repent this one. We got to try more efforts and study, and even spiritual, relationship, other areas, it takes time, it takes time. The Bible, once again, let me co- conclude this sermon with this one. Love each other. I want to encourage you guys, maybe the rest of us, the summer school, we do have a lot of tasks, maybe test, even the practice performance. Let's try to love each other. Let's try to support each other, and put my efforts, and let's wait until we get some the fruit and glorify our Jesus Christ together. I believe this is the track, the journey we are in right now. And 
everyone feel what it is called sense of belonging. Why? Because we love each other in Christ.